Hello, everybody. Sula here. No, this is not the exciting conclusion of how Sula resolved all her issues with her iOptron GEM28 telescope mount. You're probably asking yourself, why did Sula leave beautiful Balmy Bay area, the best place on earth? Yes, I'm asking myself that too. It's been cloudy every day. It snowed. I've been shoveling snow for days. Tonight, I went outside and I couldn't believe how many stars were in the sky. So I came back in to get some binoculars and that's when I saw the temperature. Now I'm a pretty hardy person, but honestly, I think the time it would take me to polar align, I would probably die of hypothermia or definitely have frostbite in several digits. However, I think I'll go out there just as long as I can last because I can at least see a few stars. So let's go check it out. Wow, look at all those stars. Oh my goodness. So beautiful, so bright, and so cold. No more telescopes, no more gadgets. The top of my wish list is a home observatory with the 150,000 watt heater running nonstop day and night. Hello again. Okay, last night it got down to negative 20, that's Fahrenheit, and it was just a little too cold for me. I did come out with my binoculars and it was spectacular, but tonight it's dusk and it's negative one so i don't have time to fool around with a star adventurer or anything like that so i got out the big guns i have my eq6r pro out and i've got my christmas present my red cat 51 on there with my sony a6400 and uh, i'm just polar aligning i can see polaris uh be right back okay i got my polar alignment done one thing about stargazing when it's this cold your batteries die so I, fortunately I, there's a plug on the garage and I'm using AC to power it. A battery wouldn't last and even the battery in the camera I'll have to use four of them and um, also you don't want to take your hands out of your gloves unless absolutely necessary. So no fooling around with a laptop. A laptop wouldn't survive anyway. I may not survive. Anyway time to find some objects. Oh I'm on a star line. A tree's blocking Sirius, but maybe I can find Rigel. Be right back. I love this mount. No problem. Sirius is dead center. We did get past that tree. So that was my one star alignment, and I'm ready to get going. I'm going to try again for Flaming Star Nebula. I did take some pictures of it before, but they weren't very good. And I really should use my Astro Modified camera, which I did to my Sony A6000, because it was no good for video. It doesn't even have an audio outlet. Anyway, um, but it's so cold. I'm going to try with this camera first and see how it goes. Check in with you later. I have some banding with my light frame, so I may end up having to throw them out, but I did end up getting out my A6000 Astro Modified camera. I took the hour filter out since it turned out to be a dud for videography, which is 
something I enjoy. But um, I'll see how they turn out later. It was an enjoyable evening, even though it's negative one Fahrenheit. I believe that's negative 18 Celsius. I was very tempted to bring out my 10 inch Dobsonian because it was such a beautiful evening. The stars were magnificent, but it's pretty cold and uh, some clouds moved in also. It's gonna be cloudy tomorrow. So I'll wait till it clears up and warms up to five degrees Fahrenheit on Saturday. So I'll let you know how my pictures turned out and that's it for now. I have to put everything away and uh, warm up. I did have a few mishaps. I took a few pictures with the Botanov mask on that I had to delete. And also when I was taking the Botanov mask off, I touched it with my finger and it got stuck to my finger. So I'm gonna have a blister tomorrow and there were some other things, but all in all, it was a very fun evening, and the sky was beautiful, so we'll see how everything turned out, but however it turned out, it's always great to be under a dark sky. Well, my pictures of the Flaming Star Nebula didn't turn out very well. They're pretty ugly. I'll show them to you just to get a laugh. I don't know whether my target was overly ambitious for a 51 millimeter refractor or it was so cold the air molecules were freezing in the air or I just don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, they weren't very good. And tonight is very clear. It's currently 16 degrees and it's not going to get below zero. My brother says I should not be operating my mount below zero, but it seems to still be working as long as I plug it in and don't try to use a battery because the battery will die in this extreme cold. So I'm going to try again tonight. I'm going to try something new that I've never done before. I have a four and a half inch refractor that I just use for visual. It's really for portability. It's a Orion Eon 115 triplet. On a Orion EQG mount. and I'm going to see if I can photograph the Witch Head Nebula. I got some pictures of it in December, but again, it was negative eight, and I'll show you what I came up with. I couldn't take very many pictures because I just couldn't take it. I'm a hardy person, but I have my limits. Ooh, the sun just went down, so I better get going. I'm gonna get out the triplet I'm gonna get out the EQ6R Pro and put the Red Cat on in again and try something a little less ambitious. And I may even wheel out the Dob because I bought a, a hand truck to wheel it out so I don't have to pick it up anymore. So I might bring that out too. So I better get going before it gets dark. This is my 75 pound EQ6R Pro. Definitely going to use AC power from the garage. And the reason I don't put my six inch refractor on it, which is what normally goes on the EQ6R Pro, is that I'm afraid I'll drop it with gloves on. I really bought this wheelie bar for my six inch refractor. When I came and I put the wheelie bar together, it wasn't big enough to hold my six inch refractor on the EQ6R Pro. So 
I'm using it for this, even though I can easily pick up this whole setup myself. And I might have to because the wheelie bar doesn't want to move. Well, I'm going to go over that cable anyway, or this snow, even though I bought the big wheels. Now, what I do recommend, if you have a big old daub, I own a 10 inch daub. So I bought this hand truck from Milwaukee, made by Milwaukee, not from Milwaukee, made by Milwaukee. And that is how I'm going to get my daub out from now on. I was picking this 10 inch Dobsonian up myself, if you can believe it. I didn't want to take it off the base because my daub, I love my daub, is an Orion 10 inch and telescope. Easy does it and it has encoders on it to help you locate objects. So I don't want to disconnect them and take it out of the base each time. So I was picking up the whole thing, the base and the daub. Now I got this nice hand truck and that's how I'm going to get it out from now on. This is my Orion Eon 115 millimeter triplet. This is a fantastic telescope. I love it. I uh, just don't use it very much in the summer because I can get the six inch out, but six inch is not portable. And this will be my portable mountain telescope. But I've never used it for photography. I've only used it for visual and it's a fantastic telescope and it should be great for photography too. But Tonight, I'm gonna find out, I hope. Actually, I just realized something, and this is something I saw somebody complain about on reviews about the EQG mount, is that it only comes with a, a DC plug, and I use the Orion lithium ion battery, which works great with this serious EQG, not with the Skywatcher. The Skywatcher rejected it and blew up the cable. See my other video about that. <laughs> anyway, that lithium ion battery is not going to last very long in this cold weather, but um, I don't have a converter. I need to get an AC DC converter next. More gadgets. I know I said next thing on my wish list is an observatory, but that will probably take years and years. This is my Red Cat 51 that Santa gave me for Christmas. Thank you, Santa, on my Sony A6400. I'm not going to use that modified camera because it makes the pictures look weird. Even using Deep Sky Stacker, I changed it to calibrate the background. It still looked weird. Uh, so I'm just going to use a regular camera. And I got to put on a hat because my head's cold and more clothes and have dinner and then hope to have better luck tonight. Okay, I can see Polaris. It's right at five o'clock. I have it all lined up. Just thought I'd take this opportunity to make a couple of tips. If you're like me and you live in a northern town, right here is at 45 degrees latitude. Then definitely get some of these. And some of these because you'll need them it's about 10 degrees Fahrenheit and as soon as it gets dark then I'm gonna get going well that was a barrel of fun the sky was magnificent tonight even though it was very frigid I got a bunch of pictures of the witch head nebula I'll find out later if they worked out I got the Orion triplet all set up and polar aligned and one star alignment and, and then I took a picture of Orion Nebula and then I thought, oh, okay, I'll just take some pictures of that since it's my first time and all of a sudden the sense can stopped working. The plug came out and I, it was too cold to re-polar line and redo everything. So some other time when it's warmer, 
that's it for now. I'll let you know how things turned out. <laughs>